Today, I'm gonna to be making some Captain Crunch Berry Ice Cream. Uh, this recipe was sent to me from Shelby on Instagram, and she asked me if I would try it out uh, to see if it was any good, to see if it works out. Uh, you need a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, two cups of heavy cream, two teaspoons of vanilla, a fourth teaspoon of salt, and you may as well buy a box of Captain Crunch Crunch Berry cereal. You're gonna need two and a half cups right here, but then you're also gonna need a little uh, extra to sprinkle in, uh, uh, sprinkle on top later for decoration. So you may as well, that's what I'm saying, you may as well, you're gonna need like three cups. Okay, so what you do is you're gonna take all your, uh, your wet ingredients plus the salt. So your heavy cream, your vanilla, your salt, and then your sweetened condensed milk. And you're going to mix this together. Okay, we let this uh, mix for probably probably five minutes, five, five or 10 minutes, and it got really, it gets thick. It's it's like a, it looks like Cool Whip, honestly. It, it looks just like Cool Whip. So the directions didn't say how long to let it mix, but I would let it mix for 10 minutes. Uh, the original recipe also said to use a food processor. We did not see any point in using a food processor to do this at all. Uh, this, uh, if you have a mixer, that's, I would suggest using a mixer. A mixer. So now you're gonna take your two and a half cups of your cereal. We put them in this bag because we crushed them a little bit. As you can see, some pieces are whole, some pieces are crushed, but you just wanna kind of, kind of fold them in. You don't wanna crush it, crush it down. And now I have my bowl here. Uh, you wanna get a bowl that is gonna be safe in the freezer. Okay, now I'm gonna smooth it out a little bit. Now what you do is you wanna set a timer for an hour. And in an hour, pull it out of the freezer and we're gonna take some crunch berries cereal and we're gonna sprinkle them on top just to make it pretty. And I'll show you doing that in an hour what it looks like. But the total time in the freezer is gonna be four hours. This is how it looks after one hour. So I'm just gonna get some of the cereal. Try to get a lot of those colorful berries on top. You want it to be really colorful. There we go. And so I'm just gonna take this, and it doesn't say to do this, but I'm going to do this so it'll stay. I'm gonna lightly press it just like this. Like that. And now I'm gonna put it in the freezer for three more hours. Okay, this has been in the refrigerator for quite a few hours now. Mm -hmm. I had to go to a meeting and everything. Yeah, much longer than four hours. So, this is how it looks. It looks good. And it smells really good too. Yeah. So I don't know how, oh. No, oh, it's soft. Yeah, I was expecting it to, I was really. You were expecting like ice cream, ice cream. It's more of a. I was expecting to dig in. It's more of a thickened pudding looking almost, isn't it? Yeah, it. Uh, so it's not really ice cream. No. A really I want to cool see the... There you go. Okay. Ready? No. No, I don't have a bite. Should I get a berry, a piece of cereal, cereal. and a berry? I think it's all in there. The... The cream part tastes more like um, a vanilla pudding almost. It almost has a pudding texture, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. 
or a really thick cool whip. I don't mind the flavor. I don't mind the flavor either. I think it's. I think you can taste the cereal. Mm -hmm. The cereal's really good. The the flavor of the berries is very strong, and you can taste that. But I know what you're gonna say because I feel the same way. The cereal got mushy. It's soggy. not mushy. It's um, mm -hmm. it's a stale tasting. It feels stale. Mm -hmm. It's got that. It's not mushy like in. It's wet. It's mushy like in. It's spongy. Mm-hmm. And kind of tough. The pieces on top. The pieces on top are crispy. If you were to put this in like a lasagna pan and spread it out on the bottom and make and it just thin, have that, and then sprinkle the stuff just on the top. Right. And not put it in like they had me mix it in. That would be better. I would do that rather than mixing it. In. Although it tells you to use two and a half cups. But I guess if you took the two and a half cups and spread it out and then pushed it down a little bit and then put it in the freezer, it would be, it would work out a lot better. Yeah, it's not bad it ain't by any means. No. It's, it's just cereal does get a little tough. Yeah, that, that's... That's the only complaint about yeah, it. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Just just know if you make it um, that, I, first of all, when you whip this up in your mixer, if you have a whisk, I would use the whisk attachment yeah. instead of the regular paddle because it'll make it fluffier. Uh, the longer you leave it and then um, yeah just put it in a lasagna pan and I think that'll work out much better uh, so the but the flavor is really really good mm -hmm. Shelby yeah. thank you for telling me about this I think this is a cool idea and I think you could use any cereal not oh, just yeah. this you need these peanut butter flavored cereal or anything uh, yes. that'd be really good yes and uh, yeah and, there, and and there's a peanut butter cap and crunch mm -hmm. yeah so crunch that bears. yeah that, not, uh, yeah peanut butter crunch so uh, that would be awesome in this too because I love peanut butter so that would work out well too so thank you very much for telling us about it hope everyone else enjoyed it and thanks for watching